In this video, we're revealing how to make money online with Amazon KDP and how beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day on Kindle Direct Publishing with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 in profit in as little as 90 days, so check it out right now. All right guys, so the first way is very straightforward. is simply just by publishing on the free platform. For example, if you go to Kindle, kdp.amazon.com, you could literally sign up for free and start self-publishing eBooks and paperback books for free with Kindle Direct Publishing and reach millions of readers of Amazon. Now, the beauty about this is number one, you literally have no cost, zero cost. So if you have no money whatsoever, you can go ahead and get started with this. Another pro is you could actually create passive income from this. I actually have friends that make about like $10,000 to $30,000 profit every single month, which Amazon directly pays them every single month, which allows them to you know, travel around the world, to have safety, to have security, to have financial freedom for themselves. And on top of that, they don't have to actually depend on you know shipping physical products, which could also be pretty annoying. And another big pro is even if you don't know how to write a book, you could actually get somebody else to do the writing for you and allow yourself to kind of like get detached from the process so that you could actually make more money. So as you can see from this, this is an example of one of the versions when you want to write your own content. So when I want to write my own content, I actually was able to publish for free a paperback and a Kindle version. So the coolest thing about this is, you know, I lived an interesting life. You know, I left dental school and then I left America in general to just like travel around the world and make money online. So that part was like pretty interesting. So of course, I ended up writing a book about it on Kindle as well as a paperback book. And now because I wrote this one time, whenever someone types in, I don't know, like make money online or Mike Vasile on Amazon, someone goes ahead and buys this, I make money from this from Amazon KDP. Now I know what you're probably hearing, well that's good for you Mike, you've been making YouTube videos and doing all those things. What if like I don't actually know how to write anything special about my life? Or what if I'm just like a boring person and I, I just want to make money online because I want to you know, start creating that freedom to you know, travel around the world, to provide for mom and dad, to support your family, to pay you know, for your kids' student education, right? How can I actually get to that level without actually having to be a writer? Well, that's why I want to introduce you to one of my friends, for example, I met in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So a couple years back, I moved from America to Chiang Mai, Thailand, which is like a place where a bunch of like digital nomads end up living, right? And while you're in this weird ecosystem of a world, you know, you go to these co-working spaces where there's also a lot of expats that kind of left you, the, you know, the UK, uh, Brazil, Canada, Australia, and they left the confines of their own, you know, home to travel around the world and make money online, right? And in one of these co-working spaces where it's like a cafe where a lot of these people work online and just like hang out, I met this like really big British guy that was making money with Amazon KDP without actually writing his own books, without even having to be a writer and without actually really being that good in English because he was super Scottish, super British. Like I couldn't even understand like what he was actually saying. It was like straight up proper English, right? Not like the, you know, the, the American way of like speaking English. Super Scottish English. I couldn't even understand. This accent was so thick. I was like, how the hell do you make money with Amazon KDP and Kindle Direct Publishing? when I can't even understand you, right? And the crazy thing is he was making about six figures every single year profit writing these like werewolf love stories, uh, essentially where, you know, you know, it's the same thing. Woman lives her normal life. Then one day, you know, a werewolf comes down from the mountains, looks like a handsome tan looking dude, ends up falling in love and then a vampire tries taking them away. It's like a story that happens over and over and over again, but yet, because people are into that, you know, it's like a very interesting niche and people are addicted to it. That's why there's all of these books about this. And I'm, I'm telling you, like some of these books make like disgusting amounts of money. So what he would essentially do is he would actually hire a ghostwriter on Upwork. You could come in here and type in like ghost writer. And there's actually people literally all around the world on Upwork that would literally write you know, your story that you want. You just give them some examples, you know, maybe give them some examples of some of the top other books. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be in this case, a werewolf love story, 
right? But he would literally come in here, get somebody from the Philippines to go and write it because it's like super cheap. And then he would come in and then try looking for like $10 an hour, right? And you see that there's literally people that are in like the recipe niche, you know, in the uh, regular article writing, in the awesome writer category, in creative writing, performance artists, you know, that charge like $6 an hour, man. And the crazy thing about some of these like, ebooks is they're literally like maybe 20 or 30 or 40 pages. So you get a couple of sales a day, you know, say you get like 10 sales a day, that's already 80, you know, dollars a day. You say you get like, you know, 30 sales a day, right? You're at about like 150 ish dollars a day in profit. And the beauty about this is he's not the one that goes ahead and writes this. So you probably wonder, okay, well, Mike, that's great. Well, how can I reverse engineer? Well, it's very simple. All you really got to do is go over to this all category and then you want to scroll down and try to find the Kindles and ebooks. And once you're here, you wanna go and click on Kindle Books. And now once you're there, you wanna do something very interesting, which is look to the left. When you look to the left, you see all of these things right here. These are all the categories that are really popular in Kindle eBooks. So before you actually wanna begin with this method, you wanna go and figure out, okay, well, what is like the most profitable niche? The most profitable niches are the ones that are up here that you could literally get somebody else to go ahead and write for. So for example, cookbooks, right? Because I saw that cookbook writer on Upwork for like $6. I wanna see what are the top selling books on the cookbooks, right? Like I said, I found this girl, recipe writer and meal planner. She only charges $9 an hour, right? And she's a nutritionist. So I can literally get her to literally write a book for me. Very, very, very cheap. So the next thing that I wanna do is you gotta understand when it comes to Kindle publishing and Amazon KDP, it doesn't actually matter how good the book is. I know it sounds like pretty crazy because there were a bunch of amazing books that were written last year, but no one bought because of two things, their title and the book cover. I know this sounds ridiculous, but yes, people actually judge a book by its cover. So you got to find out, okay, what makes these actually the reason why it stands out? Is it because of the color of the book? Is it because there's something in the middle like flowers? You know, I see there's like something in the middle where it's some type of food that is showing right when people are doing it. With the highly rated ones, you know, you see it's like a different style one, right? Now the coolest thing about this is you get to decide, okay, what actually makes this, you know, stick out. Look at this. I noticed this one right here, as well as this one right here, very similar styles. It's kind of like a little cakey thingy with like fruits on the top. I'm seeing that multiple times as the front end, right? So just like that alone, because I'm seeing it here and I'm also seeing it here, I'm kind of getting an idea of what would actually work if I wanted to go ahead and create like a fitness nutrition book. You know, a really big piece of cake in the beginning, literally in the front, and then just like a plain background. You know, that one, for some reason, caught the most out of my eye. These kind of look a little bit noisy. You know, you have a similar cell right here where this one is literally like a piece of amazing food is literally up front in your face. And then like an interesting title, vegan is for everybody. You know, kind of like contradicts your mind. It's like, what, vegan? But that looks like, like meat. So it's kind of confusing, but that's why people actually go ahead and buy it. Same thing here, keto desserts, but here is like something that does not look keto. So kind of like snaps people out of their, you know, regular day-to-day -day thing because it's like, what? I wanted to be keto, but this actually looks very enjoyable. If I was gonna go and write a nutrition book that I don't have to create, I could literally get, you know, someone like, you know, Alea to go ahead and write it for me. I could literally like pay her nine dollars an hour to her to go ahead and you know create this then she would create like the entire customized thing and all I would have to do is then publish it straight onto here. The only thing left for you to do once you actually go ahead and upload the transcript onto you know KDP which is completely free like for example when somebody goes ahead and buys this paperback book or this Kindle book literally Amazon handles everything I don't have to pay anything even if someone else buys I just collect royalty from it right the moment you upload it on KDP the only thing that you have to do is kind of create like a very similar you know like cover so if you go to fiverr.com it's very simple you can just type in Kindle book cover and you can find people like super affordable to go ahead and figure this out all for you so you don't have to deal with it. Look at this. I will create book cover design, only $10, only $5, only $5. It's very affordable to go ahead and get up and running with this business. And the coolest thing about this is each time you create a new ebook or a Kindle book or an audio book or whatever, you know, it's completely free to do. But when you get paid and you rank on certain keywords, for example, on Amazon, you will consistently getting paid now every single day for the rest of your life, which is why a lot of people enjoy this specific business model, guys. Another way, if you don't wanna you know, do this, is you could actually just promote Kindle books. So for example, if you come on here, you notice like for example on ClickBank, it's a place where you could actually promote you know, other people's products, right? The coolest thing about this is there's actually existing Kindle you know, programs and products teaching people how to go ahead and create Amazon products or Kindle products on Amazon, right? And the crazy thing about this is it's a digital product, 
but you get commissions like $25 commission, $31 commission. So even just like with those two alone, if you just get 10 sales a day of this, that's already $300 a day profit. You only get five sales a day, that's about like $150 a day profit, right? But here, you know, this one, it's $228 in profit, right? If you just get one sale of these every single day, you know, you literally are at the point of hitting $150 a day or $300 a day, and you can allow yourself to start making passive income because the coolest thing about ClickBank is it's someone else's product that they do most of the selling for you. You just have to learn a little bit of marketing. And you can see with this, without having my own product, without having to do much of the selling, without having to do any of the customer service, the fulfillment. You can see on average in the past you know, 30 days alone, we were pulling anywhere from like $2,000 on the high end to like $500 on the low end. Here's a $400 one on the low end. And then here there's like a 1400, here's a 2000 one. This one was obviously like nothing because you could see, but you know, when you sell other people's products, it's great because a lot of it is just a lot profit margins. Look at this, $3,400, right? So you wanna know exactly how to do it this way, check out the free workshop below because it's the fast and easiest way to make money online. We have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. As well as if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and check out my podcast of all these multimillionaires that make a bunch of money online. With that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. You.